Rah. Rah. Anywho. But, uh, yeah. You see, now I have, um, five people there. So I'm getting 54 point something per month. Per year. It will per year. So that's my value of the trade per year. So, and that's reflected by my month in an increase in my monthly income for those of you that don't know. See, now I have an extra merchant. The Hansa. See, okay. Denmark, which is right here, these red guys, has excommunicated the Hansa. So now, if I were to declare war on them, I would have a, um, Costas Belly. So, that's good. Someone's conquering uh, France a bit. It's um, Bavaria there. Alaska there. Baden there. And Austria there. And Barbarant here, so... What's it called? Um, France is being beat back a little bit. They're at war with quite a number of people. This is good, because as... The more of a superpower France is, the more it's not good for me. Because... Ooh. The Jailerids, whoever they are, are no longer in re religious turmoil. That's good for them, I suppose. Bad for us, because they're Muslim. We want Muslims to be divided. Bad Muslims. Grr, bad Muslims. Oh, the Venice captured Naxos, which is not good. Okay. And now, something about rebels were in Venice and they just went away. Which means I can only assume that... What's it called? Uh, they set up some kind of new government in, in Venice. I'm not sure exactly how that works, because I've seen that happen a couple times. Where basically, there's a country, like let's just pick Ragusa, and some rebels revolt, because and since it's a one province thing, it can't really, um, they can't, the, they can't really defend themselves, and the rebels can't go anywhere, so they just kind of, I don't know, set up a new ruler. Oh, France is, fi France is fighting back against, um, Switzerland, and against, um, Baden as well. But it looks like France is being... I'm going to look at this real quick. The ledger. Uh, current wars, if I can find it. I think it's number 30. Ooh, what's this? Sicily's income has just dropped like that. Bam. Bam. Drop. Bam. And that's actually in correlation with our conquering, th conquering of them, I believe. Like, if you looked at our conquering of them and their, um... Other... And, like, their number of provinces it probably look about the same enemies I have no enemies that's my income so friends so the only friend that I have that ha has better income than me is province and they're going down and I'm going up so yeah and they started off higher than me too so and largest income is Castile and they're always the largest with the second being England, and they're dropping fast. I'm the only one that's really on a big rise, other than maybe uh, Novgorod, Novgorod. But the Golden Horde has just plummeted. Inflation. Well, that's not a surprise. Look at me. Look at my inflation. Anywho. Trade goods. Yeah, I'm not good about keeping inflation. We had a quite number of hostile relations. Here we go. Current wars. So the France attacked someone, and stuff happened, and words and stuff, and blah. Anywho, somehow these guys dominated these guys, which I'm not surprised of. Or they're dominating, or it's negative four, which means it's not much has happened yet. But the Byzantine reconquest of Corfu, which is Byzantine versus Venice, Corfu, Castile, and Savoy. Byzantine's going to lose this. I'm going to tell you that right now. Then Poland's conquered all of the Gordon, Golden Horde, apparently. And Nov Novogorod versus Rays, 
Ryzen. Okay, I don't really care about that. Actually, um, if they were to fight um, Venice, they could take uh, Corfu from Corfu, you know, and take Naxos, which are both their provinces. And they could, um, that'd be pretty good for Byzant Byzantium. They'd be a powerful ally if I could offer a royal marriage. Maybe alliance, unlikely, send him a gift. You can't deny a gift as far as I can tell. So... Just, uh, you know, get friends with them. They'll be a powerful ally. They uh, give us military access now. Ooh, hoo, 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 here we go. The nobility was not fully subjugated during this age, and the nobles could and did strike independent at alliances with foreign princes. The crowns of Europe might not have liked it, but were normally hard-pressed to prevent these kind of activities. Naples gains diplomatic insult cost Spelly on Urbino. I, qu I quite like this. I lose one stability either way, and I'd rather, take, I'd rather get the cost of Spelly than lose the prestige. Why did my frames drop? Okay, they're back up. They're guaranteed by Ferreira, who does not scare me. I do want to declare war on them, actually. Province and Tuscany. And that's my timer, folks. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.